today we will create a double axis line plot, time series line plot in R plotly. So this is what it's going to look like. Let's have a look at the board. So the first package we're going to need is plotly. The second one is data table. So basically I have taken this data of COVID from GitHub and saved it locally as CSV. So as you will see, this has like three lakh observations. So if I use d.csv, it will take a lot of time. So over here, I just change the date to proper date format. After that, we can look at the different column names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the data where the location is called so far the global level. After this, this is all we need to do. And we get the plot. So first thing is we have two traces. One is for the y1, another is for the y2. This is simply x, the date as we do usually. And then y is the total page is the time, the date, the time series at the bottom. Then we have y, which is the total vaccinations over here. You can just give it a name. The name will appear over here, this one. So total vaccinations. If I change it to total vaccination like this, you will see it happens. That will look like this. Total vaccination. Now you will be able to see it. Okay. So this is the blue one. This is the color for the fill. You can different, pick different colors from the choose the RGB color of your choice. Then similarly, the second trace is for the new deaths, which is basically this side, the orange, orangeish one, and the type is scattered. So the next thing is how we need to put this y-axis to in the layout as well as we need to define it over here and then we just get what we are looking for so this part basically is telling you that as the number of total vaccinations increase the new deaths have decreased so this kind of shows that vaccinations have worked if we look at it from the perspective of data analysis and now one more thing i did is it's similar to the first one but in this one i have added this template hover template so you will see it now gives you a hover info like this. Previously, it was like this, the default one. But now this one looks much better. This is basically the HTML over here. And that's it from the tutorial. If you like it, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.